Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Doing a whole video guys. It's been a while, actually it's been four weeks uh, from my last haul video and I was finally able to grab more than eight comic books to show you guys and you know I haven't been buying not many comic books. I actually been doing the opposite. I've been selling a lot of the comic books that I have purchased in the past and trying to re uh, trying to like I said uh, I guess reorganize or reset my whole collecting and uh, it's going smooth um, I'm not selling as much as I thought it would but you know, you know patience is the virtue of everything and uh, slowly slowly is getting there guys um, before I start showing the books that I picked up I just want to say thank you every one of you guys said you know that who has participated in my last podcast and the, and everyone there who has been uh who has joined us live and who also seen it on the down on the rerun so thank you very much um with that let me do some shout outs to who was in part of the uh, the panel uh this couple of days on my podcast i want to thank um rack 718 uh the doom 143 uh, Kingdom Comics, Mark Walters, um, who else was there? Walking Jedi, Drashers Comic and Things, um, Alex the Comic Holder, Master Explainer, and Comically Flawed. Thank you very much. Uh, the show, I mean, the chat would not have been as successful if it wasn't for any, every one of you guys who has, that has participated. Did that make any sense what I just said or? Uh, anyway, I, I have, it's been a long day, I woke <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, thank you very much, and everyone that who has been uh, watched, you know, live and on the rerun, thank you very much, uh, planning to do this type of podcast once every two to three weeks, and of course, I do have my other podcast show called Comic Discussion with, you know, Tito, Kingdom Comic, with Mark Walters, and 3562. And um, yeah, that will be probably something that I'm going to do probably once every two to three weeks. Um, yeah, so uh, there's my plug-in and, and, my, and my thank you and my shout-outs. All right, so let's get into the haul. Uh, what you're seeing is, uh, you know, Batman Rebirth number one. Uh, this is the uh, Comic-Con box edition cover done by Barry Keaton. Uh, this is homage to Batman number 423. Just love the art and just love the fact that there's a cat woman and a man. And why I'm showing you this is I read digitally Batman number 24. And Batman had proposed to Catwoman. And that book right now is selling like hotcakes, guys. Uh, but yeah, uh, we'll see in issue number 25 if Catwoman actually accepts that proposal and she becomes... Uh, a superhero or a hero, you know, and do a 180 turnaround and she becomes a yeah, hero than a villain. All right, so that was my CGC purchase. Got that for real good price too. Um, all right, so all of this, what you'll see is variants. All right, nothing regular cover, guys. All right, so this is button. Uh, I'm sorry. This is part four of the button art uh, flash number 22, but this is the new stand price variant of $3.99. I only could find like one copy of this, so found it in a very near mint. So I don't know, maybe I should submit this. I love this cover. And Jason Fabok has been killing it in the four covers that he had done for this art. So very happy to get team that. Uh, Freddy562 has. Uh, <laughs> He has influenced me to look into a, uh, an artist named In Hyuk Lee. And this is Amazing Spider-Man 700.5. Uh, man, if I don't know if he can see it, but oh my god. The video does not do no justice on the details that this guy is doing on his covers. Very happy to get this. Uh, the this one the this and the one be after this is a completely free comic. Uh, what happened a couple of hauls back? I showed you 
of a conve comic convention exclusive and what happened was I ordered that and a couple of other issues but he only sent me one book and and it was been a I don't know it's been a long long uh, going back and forth you know with the sellers and he's you know I got my refund and also he sent me a couple of books on the way as well so this is one of them Star Wars number one La, La Mole Comic Con uh, Boba Fett cover and also this is another book which I have purchased this is the one that he gave but didn't send the other but he gave me another copy of the Batman number one uh, La Mole Comic Con uh, exclusive cover which only limit about approximately about 800 of this were printed and was not being sold but was given was only given to a VIP and I heard that not all 800 was given and some of them all got destroyed or got distributed somewhere else but yeah um, this is average about what 50 to 100 dollars a comic book yeah give it to me for free also uh, happened to get the moon girl and devil dinosaur number 19 this is one of the 25 incentive variant covered down by Marco. Uh, very happy to add that. This is the first appearance of Girl Moon. So a lot of spec play on this. All right. Also Guardian of the Galaxy number one. This is one of the 25 incentive variant covered down by Milo Manara. Beautiful, beautiful um, cover of Gamora. I think there is also one by Storm. I'm not too sure if that's Guardian or the X-Men, but very happy to get this. And it's such a good price. Uh, next is, yep, a Miles Morales Ultimate Spider-Man number one. One out of 50 incentive variant covered down by Fiona Staple. If I can get this anything below $20, I am getting it. Um, such a, such an iconic cover in my eyes and... Uh, yeah, especially with the Miles Morales uh, Spider-Man movie, uh, you know, animated movie coming up, ending of 2018. Uh, we'll see what happens to this guy. All right. Next is the Mighty Thor number 15. This is one of the 50 incentive variants covered down by Sorrentino. If you don't know who Sorrentino is, go check out his art. He does have a bit of a like a Bill Sinkovic type of uh, watercolor uh, art to his, you know, to his cover. And he does a lot of the incentive. Uh, I don't know if it's incentive, but he does a lot of the variant cover for Secret Empire. I think the last one he did was for Thor. I think this week was for, uh, he did a cover with Spider-Man with that Hell Hydra uh, logo kind of on his chest area. Beautiful covers, guys. But you know, when I saw this, I had to get it. Still buy. Um, it came in a, such a great condition. Thinking about sending this to CGC as well. All right, the last raw book that I have is Orlando Megacon uh, exclusive cover of Venom 150, uh, Mary Jane, uh, you know, cover. I don't know. This is a very limited print. Um, I'm not going to tell you who that person got me, uh, but if you're watching this, you know who you are. I have to say, you know, Big, big mahalos for getting this for me, man. Uh, he got me the whole set. He got me, the set comes with a virgin cover, what you see in front of you. Same setup, but has a ver uh, Venom, uh, which they call it the color edit, uh, color variant. And there's also black and white uh, variant. Um, those two I have already been, you know, it's already been set to give it out, uh, but I'm keeping the virgin super super high grade definitely uh definitely i'm thinking about sending all of my virgin cover to cgc one day sometime this year and uh see what kind of grade i get but definitely beautiful beautiful art beautiful beautiful art yeah so thank you again oh if you don't know uh <laughs> francisco Martina. i don't know if i said the artist but beautiful cover man i just love the detail on her shoes she has a stiletto, but at the bottom, you can see that Spider-Man, uh, that logo at the bottom of that sole. So I thought that was a nice touch. Beautiful cover overall. All right. Um, I've been telling you that I've been selling a lot of my comic books and, um, I've been doing okay. Um, I think I got rid of like one third of my collection and, uh, I was able to like take some of that, uh, 
uh, money and invested in one of the keys and uh, very happy to add DC presents number 26 um, this is the first appearance of Cyborg uh, Starfire and Raven the new Teen Titans you know the Doom 143 have been hyping this up and, and he's right this is such an undervalued book you know you still can get it as cheap uh, not cheap but you still can still can get it at a really decent price guys uh, 9.4 didn't cost me too much the seller was able to uh, just give it to me at such a good price and this has all the potential to to be a I iconic uh, book going forward um, yeah um, you know Teen Titans with the movies and with the TV series you know, and every morning I wake up to Teen Titans Go. I mean, it's just everything about Teen Titans has so many going for them. Um, so with that, you know, I had to get this before it gets really, really out, out of hand. Couldn't get a 9.8 nor a 9.6, but I'm very happy with a 9.4 because it's still in a near mint condition. Uh, as you have probably noticed, I got my Sikki near mint channel name back. So there is no VGVF. It's, it's just seeking near me in comics. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much. Um, that's it for this haul. Uh, like I said, it's not much. I think that there was two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, about ten, eleven, eleven books altogether. And that's that's it. Um, hopefully, my next haul will be as uh, long. But definitely look out for my other podcast. It's called Comic Discussion, and other one is called the open forum where we'll gather some of the uh, YouTubers to join in and just talk about comics. All right. I think that's it. And um, oh, also, uh, before you guys go, I think this is more for my 9.2 crew. I think, you know, uh, I think we need to get back and do a podcast. So Captain, call us in. We'll be there. And... Uh, yeah, man, and really, really uh, looking forward to our next segment of 9.2 crew. All right, uh, with that said, thank you. Aloha and mahalo, and until next time, shoots.